I wish I could curse that reverend cross, but he's covered by the blood of Christ. I thought I had neutralized him when I confined him to a wheelchair, but he compensated for it by spending more time in prayer. Now he's assembled a team of teenagers with extraordinary abilities. He hasn't tried to develop their superpowers at all. Instead, he's training them to minister the word of God. However, I can no longer concern myself with what the good reverend and his cross team are doing. I must concentrate on spreading my greatest lies, so I can send mankind to hell. There is no devil. There is no hell. There is no consequence for sin. The Bible is outdated. Only fools believe the gospel. There are many paths to heaven. Do whatever feels right to you. Your opinion is the only one that matters. Thank you for coming. As I was praying this morning, the Lord revealed to me that Mephisto has intensified his attack on the gospel. Many souls are going to be lost if we don't do something. What are we waiting for? Let's go stop him! I appreciate your enthusiasm, but we can't be too hasty. Mephisto is a powerful enemy. His lies are persuasive and enticing. I want to make sure the cross team is adequately prepared to confront him. Why don't you test us, Reverend Cross? Put us through our paces. That's an excellent suggestion, Bruiser. Since it was your idea, I'll begin with you. I'm ready. What is the best way to defeat Mephisto? Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of Hosts. Zechariah 4.6 Eagle, how do we sustain ourselves during the battle? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40.31 Beacon, what is the clearest path to victory? If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. 1 John 1.7 Flurry, what can we tell Mephisto's prisoners in order to set them free? Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah 118 Always remember 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. We won't forget, Reverend Cross. You've trained us well. Before we go, there is someone I want you all to meet. The newest member of the cross team. Joyous Grace. A girl. You invited a girl to be on our team? Her team name will be Miracle Girl. Miracle Girl? What makes her so special? <clears throat> I believe she will be happy to demonstrate for you. Jesus said, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, Ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew 17.20 I'm sorry, I was wrong. Put me down, please. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Okay guys, we need to get serious. Mephisto is on a rampage, and we need to try and stop him. With the Lord's help, we will. My latest onslaught has given me overwhelming control over the masses. These fools believe they are going to heaven without repenting. They accept false religion and mock true Christianity. Soon the entire world will be lost. 
Just a minute, Mephisto. The cross team would like a word with you. <gasps> Take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Now, to answer your lies, Satan is real. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3.8 Hell is real. The Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord, and from the glory of his power. 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9 There is a consequence for sin. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Galatians 6, 7 For the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, 23 The Bible is not outdated. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. It is not foolish to believe in the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Romans 1, 16. There is only one path to heaven. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. John 14, 6. It is dangerous to do whatever feels right. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14, 12. Your opinion does not matter if it does not agree with God's. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 6 through 9. Lord, we thank you for these who have decided to give their lives to you today. Keep them under the shadow of your wings. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You may have won the battle today, Cross Team, but I'll win the war. Evidently, you haven't read the back of the book, Mephisto. Did we really win today, Reverend Cross? There are many more who followed Mephisto than turned to Christ. Whenever one soul who was lost comes home, it is a great victory. And we have had several great victories today.
The Cross Team is a fictional story where the heroic characters have superpowers. No human really possesses the abilities depicted here. It is simply entertainment. However, there is someone who can give you supernatural power. Jesus Christ defeated the work of the devil 2,000 years ago when he died on the cross and rose again. Before he ascended into heaven, he promised to give his believers power while he was gone. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power, after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. If you are born again, the Holy Spirit has transformed you into a new creation. You can help defeat the work of the devil by witnessing to others. Let the Holy Spirit work through you in all phases of your life. If you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, I encourage you to do so now. You can be the next miracle.